House is now open at the Liberty Center, but the owners say it's a little bit different than you might expect. Yeah, local shows. Clancy Burke is there right now. It's the son of a butcher steakhouse, <laughs> and she has a look around. Good morning, Clancy. John, I have been to many steakhouses in my day, but I have never been to a steakhouse that looks anything like this. Exhibit A, we've got a bathtub. Just as soon as you walk in, you see a bathtub. And then not only that, check out some of this artwork. You might find it is very familiar to you, and that's because we actually have the same ownership as agave and rye. And I'm getting all kinds of vibes in here. I mean, there's so much creativity, the atmosphere, the vibes, and of course, we have got plenty of drinks. Right now, I'm here with Brad who is the leader of the house over here. And you said that title is very important because you guys are kind of like family. Yes, absolutely. So we don't do managers or employees. It's leaders and family members. Uh, and that just creates the family vibe and makes sure that we have that kind of relationship. Now, talk to me. How did you even come up with all of this? There is so much going on here. Can we actually just draw your attention to the chairs? I mean, every single piece of this has been thought out and thought out well. How did you come up with it? This is uh, a dream that came to life for somebody and the beauty of it is that she wanted, they, the owners just wanted the, uh, the vibe to be a part of the experience and to be able to sit down and enjoy fine dining food without the fine dining atmosphere. She wanted to make it alive and artsy and just all about what you soak in as part of the overall experience. And this place is actually a lot bigger than you might think, a lot bigger than I thought. I thought that was it, but no, I'm turning this way and walking because I'm not trying to bump into glass and break anything. They actually have a whole separate room in here, and you can see the vibe continues, the atmosphere. It is the same feel. Right now, I'm here with Chris, who's the director of operations. I mean, how long did you guys uh, you know, take to come up with this? This is, this is really something. Well, uh, Epic Brands, we move very, very quickly, so once we get a concept that's unique, creative, and hasn't been done before where we put our foot to the, to the pedal and get the ball rolling. So we, from when we took over this building here, it was a few, few months until conception, which is very, very fast, and we love it. And we've got to talk about the food, and we actually have a little bit of a sample here with us now. I mean, talk to me about what's on the menu. What are people just going to love? Well, it's a pretty big menu. We have some traditional steakhouse items and some unique items as well that are affordable for all um, price ranges. Here on the table, we have our meat and cheese board, charcuterie board, and those we allow our guests to select whichever items they want. They're a la carte items, so unique in that aspect. And then our million-dollar deviled eggs, as you can see on that table, they have gold leaf on top, which is unique. Um, so those are that's part of our let's get the party started uh, section of appetizers, so to speak. And we have about 15 of those. Then obviously, our, I have chef bringing out a steak right now that he'll sit on the table. So that's one example of our si uh, six steaks that we offer on our menu. We do pre-slice them um, to, to el eliminate the um, need to cut them at the table and you obviously to temp and everything. And they do, do normally come with what's called a garlic butter bomb where you just pop the bomb at the table and the juiciness of the, the butter and garlic go all over the, the steak to keep it warm as well. Plus, in addition, we do have a lot of not steak options as well. Steak's not for everyone, so we have vegetarian, vegan options as well, and Chilean sea bass, some, some tiger prawns, some um, house-made gnocchi, plus our fabulous dessert menu as well. Man, it all looks so good. It all sounds so good. Guys, you have to come out to see it for yourself. Now open for now, i back to you in the studio. All right. Uh, thank you, Clancy. Boy, you talk about a unique background. Yum. A unique background, good-looking food, mm -hmm. good-looking place. <sighs> All right. Uh, thank you, Clancy.